Yeah, it was a, you know, just a tough loss for us. Great win for Oklahoma State. It was just a, it was a battle. I mean, nobody wanted to lose, obviously, and both teams kept fighting. Um, we'd catch up. They'd take the lead. We'd catch up. They'd take the lead. And uh, I give my team a lot of credit for hanging in there. Uh, we got off to a bad start, um, you know, on the mound and got a little better in the middle. It was tough at the end. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we live to see another day. Dave, when, when, I guess, when did you decide to bring, that you maybe could pitch Connor? Did he come to you, or how, how did that develop? Um, you probably have to talk to Coach Hobbs about that, but we decided to pitch him probably a couple innings before. We said if we get the lead, you know, he was down in the pin probably uh, in the seventh, and, uh, you know, we felt like they were going to make a run at him, which we did, and then we got the big hit that put us ahead. Connor was already down there. He had already been stretched out, playing catch, and uh, getting ready to go. And then when Michael hit the home run, you know, obviously we put him in. At that point, was it really kind of, like Bert Brady wouldn't be ready to come in? I know he didn't pitch. Obviously, he gave up. No, we decided to go with Connor. What, do you have any idea what your pitching plan is for tomorrow? Well, we have an idea, but we don't want to talk about it right now. We're going to sleep on it. What happened on the McIntyre pitching change when they kind of went to the review? Was we heard that Basically, the rule to... is, well, the umpire never should have let me come out. That's the, he's not supposed to let you come out. Um, you know, we were trying to get the lefty hot, and he wasn't quite hot, and he went out there and started warming up. And once you start warming up, I guess you got to face batter. And uh, that's basically what happened. So they weren't sure of the rule, and so they called Pittsburgh or wherever they call. Uh, Kind of knew the rule, to be honest with you, but uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, it worked out for us. So. I know you're on the opposite end, but you see what OSU did today. I mean, have you seen a team kind of battle like this to score 29 runs and then come and battle the way they did with you guys too? Yeah, they had an amazing day. I mean, offensively, it was incredible. I scored what 40 some runs on the day and uh, hit a lot of home runs. Uh, just kept getting after it. Um, they got a really Good middle relief pitching job today. I think pitcher threw like 130 pitches or something. Um, but he, he saved their bullpen for the second game. And, um, yeah, I don't, know if, I don't know if I've ever seen that many runs scored in, in a day, no. Uh -uh. They, you know, they, they kind of flipped the script on you guys had an exhilarating win last night. They have it tonight. I mean, how deflating is it? I think you guys will respond emotionally tomorrow night. Well, I don't. I wouldn't call it deflating. I mean, it's baseball. It's the way it goes. You know, you're playing in somebody's yard that wind's blowing out. They're hot, swinging it. I feel like we're swinging the bats really well, as you know, right now. And so, really, it kind of came down to pitching or making a play here or there. And and uh, they did a little better than us tonight. I guess. How, how do you think you guys will bounce back tomorrow night? Well, I. I mean, it's it's play hard, and that's what we do every day. I think we'll be fine. Coach, what did you think of Will McIntyre's performance today alone and then his progression uh, as he's progressed this season? <clears throat> I thought Will came in and did a great job for us. You know, he gave up, I don't know, three runs or so and uh, pitched five innings and gave us everything he had. I mean, he pitched two, day, two days in a row. I mean, you know, he's uh, he, he's really given us an opportunity to, to be, you know, be in the championship game in this regional. Wiggins, I think he was hitting 100 on some of those pitches in the first inning, but just obviously it was giving him too many base runners. Just how would you assess his performance? Well, you know, I mean, he comes out in the first hitter. He he, he really looked really good. He got he got through the the first inning. Uh, the second inning obviously didn't go so good. Just behind behind in the count, walking people, gave up some hits. Had a little trouble throwing the off speed for a strike, and so they were just you know cheating to the fastball and. Uh, you know, we, we had Will down there ready to go, so we got him. Both guys, Michael, maybe you could take it first. Just obviously a back and forth game. Just what, what, what was it like playing in that game? It's fun, man. The last two games have probably been the most fun games I've been a part of. Uh, a lot of offense. It's fun to be a part of it and watch it as well. Yeah, thoughts on that, Caleb? Absolutely, you know. 
uh, just we have so much confidence on each player in our uh, up and down the lineup that you know it's just it's fun situations that you know every time we come up it's clutch moment. And how do you think you know it was a tough loss for y'all? Just like it was a tough loss for them last night. Just how do you think y'all respond? Michael, maybe take that first. We'll respond well. We're uh, we're swinging it hot right now, and we trust everybody up and down the lineup, like he said. And it'll be a fun game. Yeah, I agree. I think we'll respond well, and uh, I think our pitchers are going to go out there tomorrow and, and give us their all, and just like we will. You know, we'll just have to outscore them, you know, if we have to. Speaking of swinging hot, Caden, you've you've had one of the best, uh, hottest bats for your team. What's been your key to success uh, in this regional, not just against Oklahoma State, but the other opponents that you've faced on this series? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to do my job, uh, drive in runs, get on base, however I need to do that, and you know, I just. Basically, just need to give it to Michael after me, you know, and just like him, he'll pass it on next guy and just, just get on base for whoever is going to be there, and you know, just if you get a hit, you get a hit. So. Hey, Dave, with Connor, do you think it was any fatigue, or you just have to give Oklahoma State credit for, for getting hits? Um, I mean, it could have been a little bit of both. You know, he, he went out. I mean, that first hitter gets him out on two pitches, so looked pretty good there. Uh, I think he might have got him on a maybe a cutter that ran away from him. Just fly ball to right field, and then, uh, you know, just missed on a couple of pitches, a couple of borderline pitches got behind. And on both hitters, really, there were a couple of pitches that were, you know, uh, maybe just off, just up, um, you know, and then the ball that was hit to, right, you know, the left field, that was a, you know, it was a tough ball. It was kind of a sinking line drive that he got on top of a high pitch, probably top of the zone strike maybe. It might have been even been out of the zone. Um, and uh, we just thought, yeah, that's that's probably enough. Michael, what did you see out of Will McIntyre and his ability to kind of keep things manageable for the offense? That's how he's been all year. Uh, we trust him to come in and throw strikes, work ahead of guys, and his ball moves just enough with his cutter and his curveball just to miss barrels and doesn't strike a whole lot of people out, but he gets weak contact, and we trust our defense to make the plays behind him. Last couple of questions. Michael, could you kind of describe the moment if you also happy at that two-run bottom in the bottom of the Yeah, it was exciting. Uh, dugout was loud. It's fun to come in the dugout when everybody's got that good vibe going on. So we felt good going out there on defense and just didn't happen tonight. Coach, how do you assess the overall availability of your pitching staff tomorrow? Say that again. How do you assess the overall availability of your pitching staff tomorrow? Are the pitchers you've ruled out over <coughs> Yeah, I don't know. I have to think about that a little bit. The overall accessibility. So I need to talk to them and find out, you know, who's available, who's not. You know, uh, just need to uh, figure that out tomorrow before the game. Uh, we need to sleep on that one a little bit. Let these guys rest up. Thank you, coach. Thank you, guys.